Well, hello again. You know what's the... <laughs> well, hey everybody. You know what's a great radio for the price? The Flysky i6X. But it does have a few little quirks and the user interface is not amazing and it doesn't have much of a manual. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the top five or six main functions that I think beginners would want to know. So stick around and we're going to learn how to better use our radio so that we can be awesome when we're flying around. In this video, we are going to talk about how to set up the failsafe, the aux channels, the dual rate and expo functions, the receiver output, the reversing of the channels, and as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to bind it, which is really simple. And we're going to talk about those things in more depth, probably in other videos and, and as well as other functions, but I think these are the the top ones that you're gonna need to be able to access as a beginner pilot. All right, so let's get binding out of the way. So binding is actually super simple. Once you have your receiver in the binding uh, configuration, once you put the binding plug in there and power it on, you just hold down the bind button on the, uh, on, on the transmitter here and then you flip the power switch to the on position and it says RX binding. But right now there's nothing to bind it to, but normally it'll go bleep and then it will say you've bound to the receiver very very simple so uh let's see here so we turn it on we have uh, a blank uh a blank model here fly sky zero five so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about the fail safe how to get into the fail safe now this uh menu setup is kind of strange but we're going to learn it here so we're going to press and hold okay to enter the system or the main menu and then we have uh, function setup and system setup there we're going to go under system setup. We're going to scroll down to RX setup. Press OK. We're going to scroll down to fail safe. Press OK to get in there. Now you'll notice all of these say off. And what that means is that the fail safe is uh, not active. So it does not mean that the fail safe is, is working or anything. It means that, well, it means that, that there is no fail safe right now. So we're going to scroll down to channel three because that's our throttle. That's usually what you want to set the fail safe for. That's the most important one. You want to usually you want to chop the throttle all the way. So once we're on channel three, we're going to press OK, and you can see here that it is the channel three the throttle because of this bar that moves right there. So we want the, this throttle to be all the way down when we set this. We're going to press the press either the up or down to change it to on, and we're going to press and hold cancel over here to save it. So now it says channel three is negative 100%, which is exactly what we want. And of course you can set the all of the other channels for the fail safe. And um, if I didn't say it already, the fail safe is what the airplane is going to revert to if you lose connection between your transmitter and your receiver. So this way, if you fly out of range, um, your airplane won't just keep flying away. It will, uh, the throttle will shut off and then you'll be able to recover your airplane. Aux switches. Let's set up the aux switches. Now the aux switches are the auxiliary channels. So we have channels one through four on our sticks. But then we have channels five, six, well, depending on how you set them up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So usually the way I set these up is I just set them up so that it's like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's just how I like to do it right now but in, in any case to do that what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold OK we're gonna to go to the system setup and what you want to do first is go all the way down here to aux switches and make sure that they're turned on and this will actually turn them on for the for all of your other models on on your radio so whether you have these on or off and make sure that it's set to channels uh, 10 channels right there so once you have that set up, press and hold cancel to make sure you save it. I always like to go back into and just make sure that it actually did save the way I wanted it to. Next, we're going to go to the function setup, and then we're going to go down to aux channels right here. And this is where we're going to select which switches operate which channels. So you can see here channel 5. Usually what I do, just to give you an example here, I usually set that to switch A. So this is switch A. So you have switch A, B, C, D, and then you have variable A and variable B, the little little twisty knobs here. So that so usually I, I set that, uh, I set switch 5 to A, 
or switch switch A to channel 5 rather, etc. You get the idea. And then once you have the switches the way that you want them, press and hold cancel and it will take you back to the menu. I like to go in and make sure that it actually uh, stayed the way that I wanted it to. So we can see that that's how they were set. And if you if you make a change and you just press cancel, then it's just going to cancel it and take you back and the change won't be there. So be sure to press and hold cancel to save. I know, it's weird. Dual rates and expo. We're going to get into our main menu here. We're going to go to function setup. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down, it's kind of a two part thing here. We're going to go to yeah, assign switches there and then fly mode. We're going to, oops, we're going to set fly mode using the down arrow. And this will, this is, uh, tells us which switch it's going to be on. So let's just say it's on switch A, for example, which is this switch right here. And we'll press and hold cancel. Okay, so notice here, so when I go here into fly mode, there it says normal. If I flip the switch, it says sport. So normal and sport. And this way, we are going to go into, let's see, dual rates and expo. We're going to, now you see here, we have normal and we have sport. Now, the down position doesn't have to be higher rates. It could be lower rates. It just says sport to differentiate that. So usually what I like to do is have the up switch be for high rates and the down switch be for lower rates. It just kind of helps me remember. So what you can do is, uh, let's see here. So you can change which channel it is. So for channel two, you can see here we've got the... Uh, right now it's just 100% straight and then we press the OK to change it to the rate just to select the rate and then we can take the rate down maybe I want uh, let's see since since the switch is down maybe I want low rates maybe I'll take it down to 70 and then press the press OK again and to change the expo maybe I want some more expo maybe I want like 50% uh, expo you know, to get some really nice smooth flying. And then I'm going to press and hold cancel. And then, so now we can see here on channel 2 is where I had it. You can see there it's uh, full, just full, no expo, 100% rates. And then I flip the switch and now I have 70% rates and 50% uh, expo. So there you go. That is dual rates and expo. Receiver output. This is how we're going to change the output depending on the receiver we're using, what kind of protocol we're, we're using, especially if we're flying with quads. We're going to press and hold OK to get into the system setup. In the system setup, we're going to scroll down to RX setup, press OK. We're going to go down to output mode. And then here you can change the PWM or PPM, press OK, and then it switches over. We can change the I bus or the S bus. Again, press and hold cancel to save. Go back in, make sure it's saved the way you wanted it to, and that's all there is to it. Reversing channels. We're gonna press OK, press and hold OK to get into our menu. Uh, we're gonna go into function setup. Right at the top is reverse, press OK. Now this way, we're going to be able to select which one we want to reverse. We can reverse any of them and then pressing up or down is going to cause it to reverse. Now be very careful if you are doing this on your airplane or quadcopter and uh, make sure that you take the propellers off if you're uh, if you have the you know if you, if you have the battery connected because if you reverse channel 3 this position on the, the throttle is going to be full throttle whereas this position will be zero throttle. So it, it will reverse the throttle so as soon as you come over here and you flip that that's going to be full throttle and crazy things are going to happen. So just be mindful of that. All right. So then you uh, you just change whichever ones you want and then press and hold OK. Go back in and make sure it changed the way you wanted it to. And that's how you reverse channels. This is useful if you need to reverse your servo, servo channels usually or if you want your switches to switch a different way. And that's all for this video. Be sure to leave uh, comments below if you have any questions about what, what I covered here or about the FlySky i6X transmitter and uh, maybe I or someone else can help you with that. Be sure to like this video if it was helpful and uh, consider subscribing to the channel because, uh, you know, it uh, makes me look good. 
So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.